Hey guys, Cutco Mike here. I know most of you are in your push or finishing your push. I want to tell you a couple quick stories. So uh, wherever you're at is where you're supposed to be. This is about how you finish. It's about what you do the next day or few days to determine the fate of your push. So I want you to remember this. If you're worried about the past, you can't change it. It's already in the history books. And if you're worried about the future, you're focusing too much and the future it's a mystery, but what you could do is you can choose what you do right now and uh, do something courageous, do something brave, do something that's gonna just be remembered forever. And uh, I will tell you that the last 24 to 48 hours is where every great story, every great customer, every great uh, finish chapter of your cut go career is made. So. Um, just two stories that stand out to me. Number one is I was in my push in 2008 when gas prices were like four and a quarter. You guys are like in, in uh, it's like free gas right now compared to that time. And uh, I said I'm going to sell 10,000 bucks as a manager doing all sharpenings, all service calls. I started my push 0 for 11 and I was ready to quit. And I called somebody, I said, what am I doing wrong? They said, you need to focus on fun, focus on serving the customer, focus on loving the customer, focus on why you love Cutco, not why you want CPO and sales. And, um, and then I went like 38 for whatever, 40. And I was on my last day of the push and um, I was like at 8K or 8,200 and I needed to sell like 2K to hit the goal. And back then 10K was like the milestone. And uh, I remember getting up and I said, how do I want today to be? And I made phone calls. And because I made phone calls and phone calls and phone calls and it was on the day of victory, no fatigue was felt. I got a call back from a, uh, it's like a chief master sergeant in the army who is ready to leave uh, this country. And he said, I need American made knives. I'm tired of buying this Chinese made crap. He's like, get your butt over to my house now. And I literally got in the car, I drove to his house like 50 minutes away, Union, Missouri, coming from downtown St. Louis, if you know where that is. Showed up, it was like kind of like a trailer park small house. And I started pitching the ultimate. He's like, all right, cut to the chase, young man. Just tell me how much it is. And I like put my tail between my legs. It's like, uh, it's like 2,500. He's like, ah, it's too much. He's like, I'll take that set though. And, um, I positioned the package as, hey, this is the big set, this is the set you need, and uh, because I started big, he didn't buy big, but he got the set that he needed, it was a homemaker at the time, and it was like 1200 bucks. then I upsold or upserved on a couple sets and gadgets, and that was like 1500 and uh, just gave me some great motivation to finish strong, and uh, I remember he said, eat a hamburger and grab a Coke, be American. And uh, I remember that story still to this day, you know, almost 10 years later. And I got on the phones and I called people back, did a couple more sharpenings, and, and I finished uh, a couple hundred bucks over 10K. And uh, I'll tell you that that story wouldn't have happened if I didn't pound the pavement, work hard on the day of victory, on the day of victory no fatigue is felt, and, uh, and drive out there and take a chance and put myself in that position to win. And then uh, just a couple years ago, I met this lady, got her number, she was interested, and you know, I didn't, didn't uh, close on the spot. Called her, left messages, emails, never heard back from her for, for months. And it was the last day of, uh, of a push, I forget which push it was, and uh, I was behind my goal. So I heard these stories of reps showing up at people's houses, and I'm like, what the, that's weird, that's kind of pushy, that's creepy. But I said, hey, why don't I be that rep? Why don't I create that story for myself? So. I ended up uh, Googling or map questing back in the day uh, where she lived and it was like an hour away. I'm a huge believer of whoever goes to no man's land will sell what no man sells, which is a lot of Cutco. So wherever you're at and you're thinking, well, I don't want to call him, I don't want to drive, that's far. Um, hey, a little selfie, cameo. Um, uh, they. Um, you know, they usually sell big or have their biggest customers. And I'm not just making this up because those people maybe don't live in big cities where there's a lot of access to things. So, uh, and they also see you're serious, you're determined and you're passionate about what you do. 
Um, so I challenge you to go to no man's land to sell what no man sells. Um, so I drove to her house, and if you know, if you're from St. Louis, like Muscoota, Illinois, from West County, is like a good hour. And uh, I took a chance. I showed up at her doorstep. Mary Ann Rollins knocked. She opened the door. She smiled because she knew she wanted it, and she knew um, she'd eventually get it. But most people don't act in, unless the iron excitement's hot and warm and it's right in front of them. Um, so I made it available. I put it right in front of her. So she said, come on in. And uh, we sat in her, uh, in her office, in her house, an old, old house. She's probably 68, 70 years old at the time. And she started telling me the story that she started buying Cutco in the 60s. And then like the late 80s, she bought her kids Cutco. And then in the early 2000s, she bought her grandkids Cutco, and then she wanted to start her great grandkids on Cutco. And she's seen the prices go up over 50 years. And uh, the cool thing is, I was able to uh, create great rapport and uh, create an amazing deal for her. But she bought like three homemakers, three flatwares, three cookware sets, and it was like a 12,000 line one order. And it was like an 8,800 CPO order. And, uh, and I share that because one is I, I put myself in position to uh, take a chance to, to do something that I've never done and uh, offered an amazing deal to somebody who um, loved Cutco or saw the value in Cutco. And I created an amazing finish. So I challenge you to be brave, take a chance, take a risk, go to no man's land to sell what no man can and uh, finish strong. Be well. Have a great push. Bye now.